how to add a non-API account to AutoDS. Before we begin, what is a non-API connection and what is the difference between that and a regular API connection? API is a way of connecting eBay with third-party platforms. Big companies like Amazon, Facebook, and YouTube all use APIs. The API version of AutoDS gives us the ability to programmatically upload products, update prices, fulfill orders, update tracking numbers, and everything else through that API connection. Since many dropshippers believe that a non-API connection can avoid accounts getting flagged, we listened and created the best non-API connection available out there. Although we cannot confirm on any API or non-API connection that this is the real solution. We have articles and videos researching this subject, so let us know what you think. Now, non-API means that you are interacting with eBay normally, as if you are managing your store from your browser. On non-API, we can still automate important tasks like importing products, price and stock monitoring, without needing to leave your computer on, which makes our non-API connection different than the rest. Although, to grab your eBay orders or import on-track listings, you will need to have your computer on with the AutoDS non-API Chrome manual dropshipping extension. We created the non-API connection after listening to your requests and we are always adding more features from your ideas. So be sure to join us on Upvoti to vote for features that you want to see next on AutoDS. The link is right below this video. Okay, so let's get started and add our first non-API store. On the AutoDS platform, on the left menu, click on the stores link and then click on add store. On select store type, choose eBay, enter your PayPal account email where you are receiving payments on eBay, and if you are using the manage payment system, simply enter your PayPal account email anyway. eBay target is the region that you are selling on, and then click on use non-API which is an additional $9.97 per month after your trial. Then you'll see that a store name popped up, here enter your eBay store name, and then click on next. Now we will set up the file exchange token for the non-API store. Remember, the file exchange is a feature on eBay that allows price and stock monitoring and importing products without the need for an API connection. Even better, you do not need to leave your computer on for price and stock monitoring and importing products to your store. So click on the get token from eBay link, sign in to your eBay account, then you'll be taken to the grant application access file exchange. Now keep in mind, agreeing to this has nothing to do with API. eBay's file exchange is not connected to an API in any sort of way. Click on agree. And now as you can see, we have our token. We're going to grab all of this text, copy, head back to the AutoDS platform and paste the token right over here. Click on next. And now you'll receive a prompt to download and install the AutoDS manual dropshipping Chrome extension. Click on the link to download it. Once you download and install the extension, you will see it up here. And if you don't see it here, just click on the extensions and you'll see it here. Now head back to the AutoDS platform and then click on the AutoDS manual dropshipping extension. Here you'll have to enter the AutoDS token that you see right over here. So we're going to click here to copy, click on the extension paste it over here and here we want to enter the email address associated with our AutoDS account. Click on save and now we have our AutoDS manual dropshipping Chrome extension installed successfully. As you can see on the AutoDS platform, status extension has started successfully. Click on finish and now we can begin our manual dropshipping journey. Now before we go over the features on the extension itself, I want to show you the eBay file exchange feature, which is right over here, and this is where you can upload listings, select templates, and do other actions without having to have any API connection, and this is exactly what AutoDS uses to import your products and monitor your stock and your prices without the need of having your computer on, which is the way that non-API worked up until now. And thanks to the file exchange center, the non-API connections became much more practical. Now let's go back to the platform and go over the AutoDS extension features and settings. First we have the untracked products monitor, 
which helps us find products that we have on our eBay stores that are not being monitored on AutoDS. This will help us find those products so we can synchronize between them and have AutoDS start to monitor them and we won't be missing out on those sales. Then we have the orders monitor, which helps us synchronize all of the orders that we have on our eBay store to our AutoDS platform. The orders monitor scans your store every 20 minutes as long as you have the extension on and it pulls all of the orders that you have in the past 7 days. So if you missed out on any orders in the past week, you will get them back with this orders monitor enabled. So keep these two options enabled. And remember that price and stock monitoring and uploading products has nothing to do with the extension, so you don't have to have it on. That will always be done for you in the background. Next, you have the Run Untracked Sync Now button in order to run the untracked scan and try to synchronize those products. And Run Order Sync Now to run the order synchronization to pull all of your orders from the last seven days. So these two links are simply to run these two features right away. Next, you have your settings. And here we have the AutoDS token, the email address, and the full token that we pasted from eBay when we were configuring this extension. Next, you have your error log. So if you have any problems with the extension, if anything is not working, simply click on this bell and you will be taken to the error log. Here you can see all of the errors that you have with the dates and the time. If something is irrelevant, simply click on clear and it will disappear. Or you can click on clear all logs to clear all of the error logs or if you want to get help from the support simply click on export logs and as you see a log csv file was downloaded onto my computer share this file with the AutoDS support from the chat that we have on the bottom right and they will be able to assist you with any problem that you may be having that is a quick brief overview of the AutoDS chrome manual dropshipping extension now let's go ahead and add products to our store using the manual non-api connection to begin let's head over to one of the many supported suppliers that we have on AutoDS and search for any product to add to our stores dog costume let's get this cool child's play costume over here grab the whole url or just the product id and we're going to click on add products. Make sure that we are publishing this product only to the non-API store, which is this one. You can add as many products as you want with a line break. So keep making a line break and add more and more products. But for this example, one is enough. The supplier is Amazon, the region is the United States. We're going to click on next. And here we're going to enter all of our import settings for the configuration of the general things like templates, product tags, enabling automation for price and stock monitoring and order automation. Then you'll click on next and set your pricing settings. After that, you have your shipping and policy settings. And once you're done with that, click on next. And here you can import the product to your store or schedule to have it imported at a later date and time of your choosing. So for example, let's say we want to add this product tomorrow at 10 p.m. at night click on next item is being added to your scheduled products now let's check the status of this scheduled import process on the left side click on drafts and here you see that we have a scheduled product click on scheduled click on the arrow and here we have that dog costume that we just added to our store it is scheduled for January 28th, which is tomorrow. The destination is that shop that we are adding it to, how many variants it has, and so forth. If you click on the arrow again, you can start editing the product's information, general information, description, variants, and so forth. Then click on save when you're finished, so you can always optimize your products before they're being added to your store when you are using the scheduled import feature. You can also see these products on your eBay file exchange in the view upload results link once the files have been imported to your store that is another way to see which products you have on your ebay store that is not using the api connection to add those products so everything that you will add using the non api connection will show up in your view upload results in your file exchange on ebay now let's see how we can use the AutoDS finder to find and add the hottest selling dropshipping products to our store which will save us a lot of time on our product research and finding hot products to sell all while also using the non-API connection. So again, we're going to click on add products 
only this time instead of entering the buy URL or ID, we are going to use the AutoDS Finder feature. First, make sure that you have AutoDS Finder credits. If you don't have any credits, just click on the buy more, choose the package that you want, and then you will have credits to use for the AutoDS Finder. So let's begin by choosing products that sold at least eight times in the last month. Let's get 20 of those and another 20 products that have a high chance of having coupons, which means we will make much bigger profit selling those products. So 20 products that are best sellers, 20 products with a high chance of coupon, and we're going to click on next. Here, once again, we're going to enter all of the import settings for the products that we are adding right now. So I'm just going to click on next to get to the final stage, but you are obviously going to work on each and every setting to make it right for your stores. And then in the end, you can once again add it as a draft, publish it to your store, schedule it for a later date and time, or use the most recommended method, which is the recurring import method. What this does is AutoDS will do the same settings that we just chose, which is add 20 products from our best sellers and another 20 products that have a high chance of coupons. And it will do the same thing every single day at a time of our choosing. So for example, I'm going to choose 4 p.m choose to edit as a draft or import it directly to your store and start being monitored by AutoDS. And then I'm going to click on next. Now, as you see, we have recurring one. Let's click on that. And here's the import settings from the AutoDS finder that we have just configured. So we have the date, the store that we are adding it to, the non-API connection, the quantity of products. So we have 20 products from the best sellers and 20 products that have a high chance of getting coupons. The upload time is 4 p.m. Every single day, we don't have to do any product research and we don't have to put any more work into this. AutoDS will add 40 products every day to our stores at that same time. That is how the AutoDS Finder works for the non-API connection and that great recurring feature that we have to save you the most amount of time. That sums up this explanation for the AutoDS non-API connection how to set it up, and some of the features that we have inside. Keep in mind that some features are not available on the non-API connection, like using the customer service feature, using the full item editor mode, and updating tracking numbers on your eBay store. But there's enough to go around with this non-API connection, so if that's the method that you want to work with, there is absolutely no problem with that. We wish you the best of luck on your dropshipping journey, make it a successful and profitable one, and let us know if you have any questions or comments. Our live chat support is always here to help you with anything that you may need, and stay updated on our YouTube channel to learn about our newest features, explanations, guides, and a lot more things that we have going on. Good luck and happy profiting!